The process of making rebar begins with the collection of scrap steel from various sources, including discarded automotive parts, construction debris, and old appliances. This scrap steel is meticulously sorted and cleaned to remove impurities such as rust, dirt, or old paint, which can adversely affect the final product's quality. After cleaning, the steel is compacted into manageable bales, making it easier to handle and process. These compacted bales are then fed into shredding machines, where they are broken down into smaller, uniform pieces. The shredding process is essential, as it ensures that the steel melts uniformly when placed in the furnace, optimizing the melting process and the quality of the molten steel used for rebar production. These prepared scraps are now ready to be melted down in electric arc furnaces, setting the stage for the next steps in the rebar manufacturing process. Following the shredding process, the purified steel is transferred to electric arc furnaces, where it is melted down to form the base material for rebar. In these furnaces, the scrap steel reaches temperatures that fully melt the metal, allowing for precise adjustments to its composition and temperature. This step is essential to ensure that the steel has the appropriate properties for strength and durability in rebar applications. Once the steel is melted and its composition adjusted, the molten steel is then cast into long billets or continuous slabs. This casting process involves pouring the molten steel into molds that shape it into the desired forms. The steel cools and solidifies in these molds, creating uniform billets or slabs. These forms are the primary shapes from which rebar will be made, providing a consistent base material that will undergo further processing to become the reinforcement bars used in construction projects. Once the billets or slabs are formed, they proceed to the hot rolling process, essential for shaping the rebar. This stage involves reheating the billets or slabs to a high temperature that makes the steel malleable and easier to shape. The reheated steel is then passed through a series of rolling mills, where it is progressively shaped into the elongated form of rebar. Maintaining the correct temperature and rolling speeds is essential throughout this process. Ensuring the steel remains ductile enough to be formed without becoming too soft is vital, as it could compromise the structural integrity of the rebar. The rolling speed must also be carefully managed to ensure uniform shaping and to avoid internal stresses that could lead to defects in the rebar. These steps are essential because they directly influence the mechanical properties of the rebar, such as yield strength, tensile strength, and ductility. The consistency achieved in the hot rolling process ensures that the rebar will perform reliably in its essential role in reinforcing concrete, providing the necessary support for various types of structures. During the hot rolling process, specific patterns are embossed onto the surface of the rebar to enhance its bonding capabilities with concrete. This is done using rolls that have the desired pattern engraved on them. As the malleable steel passes through these patterned rolls, the textures and shapes are imprinted onto the surface of the rebar, between the rebar and the concrete, which significantly enhances the structural integrity of concrete constructions. The designs of these patterns vary widely depending on the rebar's intended use and the requirements of specific construction projects. Common patterns include ribs and lugs that are spaced in regular or irregular intervals along the rebar. These patterns increase the friction and mechanical interlock with the hardened concrete, preventing slippage and improving the composite action between steel and concrete. Different types of construction projects may require different patterns. For instance, heavy-duty structures like bridges and highways might use rebar with more aggressive patterns to ensure maximum grip and strength while residential buildings might use patterns that are sufficient for lighter loads. The choice of pattern is influenced by factors such as the load-bearing requirements and the environmental conditions to which the structure will be exposed. After the rebar has been rolled and patterned, it is then cut to specified lengths and bent into required shapes according to the specific needs of construction projects. This process is highly automated to ensure precision and efficiency. Sophisticated machinery equipped with cutting blades and bending rollers is used to manipulate the rebar. These machines are programmed with the exact dimensions and angles required for each project, allowing for rapid and accurate production. The cutting process involves measuring the elongated rebar and slicing it at predetermined points to ensure that each piece fits precisely within the structural framework it's designed for. Following cutting, the bending machines take over where each bar is shaped according to detailed engineering specifications. These machines can create a wide variety of bends, from simple hooks to complex spirals, 
depending on the architectural requirements of the building or structure being constructed. This phase of rebar fabrication is essential as it ensures that every piece of rebar not only fits perfectly in its designated place within the concrete framework, but also contributes effectively to the overall structural integrity. The automation in this process not only speeds up production, but also minimizes human error, ensuring that each piece of rebar meets exact construction specifications before it is sent out to the construction site. Rebar and concrete work together to create a robust and durable structure. During construction, rebar is strategically placed within the formwork, which defines the shape of the concrete element. Once the rebar is in place, concrete is poured over and around the rebar, filling the formwork. The concrete encases the rebar, and as it cures and hardens, it forms a strong bond with the textured surface of the rebar. This composite action allows the concrete to handle compressive forces, while the rebar provides tensile strength, significantly enhancing the overall load-bearing capacity and durability of the structure. This synergy between rebar and concrete is fundamental in modern construction, ensuring that buildings, bridges, and other structures are safe, stable, and long-lasting. Quality control and testing are critical in the production of rebar, ensuring that each batch meets strict industry standards and safety regulations. The quality assurance process begins in the manufacturing facility, where the rebar is subjected to a series of rigorous tests designed to validate its durability and performance. Common tests include tensile strength tests, which measure the rebar's ability to withstand forces that try to pull it apart. This ensures that the rebar can handle the tensile loads it will encounter in real-world applications without breaking. Bend tests are also conducted, where the rebar is bent to a specific angle to check for any cracks or weaknesses in the metal. Rebend tests further assess the rebar's ductility and its ability to return to its original shape after being bent. These tests are essential as they simulate the conditions that rebar will face in construction settings and verify that it maintains integrity under stress. These quality control measures are integral to maintaining safety standards and ensuring that the rebar will perform effectively in various construction environments. This rigorous testing regime helps prevent structural failures and ensures that all rebar products are reliable and safe for use in building everything from residential homes to commercial buildings and major infrastructure projects like bridges and highways. Rebar is a fundamental component in modern construction, providing essential reinforcement to concrete structures across a vast range of projects. In residential buildings, rebar is used to reinforce the concrete in foundations, floors, and walls, enhancing the structural integrity and longevity of homes. For commercial structures, including office buildings and shopping centers, rebar provides the necessary strength to support larger constructions and higher load capacities. Its ability to absorb and distribute the forces exerted by traffic and environmental stresses helps prevent cracking and structural failure over time. This widespread use of rebar in various types of construction projects emphasizes its indispensable role in ensuring the safety and stability of modern architectures.